It going everybody? Today's video, I'm going to show you how to jailbreak and bypass your iCloud locked iPhone or iPads in Windows. So this will be through the use of Rain USB and the bypass tool from FRP. And without delay, let's go ahead and start. First, download the five files, the Blena Etcher, Transmac, Rain USB for Intel or AMD, the Chuck Rain application, and a USB flash drive at least 16 gigabytes in size. The download links are available in the description below. So let us start. First is we're going to need Balena Etcher to flash the Rain USB image into our 16 gigabyte drive. And while doing this, make sure that your USB flash disk is already inserted into your USB port. We are looking for the file that we just downloaded, Rain USB Intel version. And then it, there you go. Make sure also that you're selecting the correct flash disk and then start the flash. And in this video, I'm going to skip to the part where it finishes flashing. We are done. So now we're going to open Transmac. So what we're going to do here is use Transmac to copy the Chakrain applications into the applications folder of the Rain USB image that we just mounted on the flash disk. Let me list down the steps that we've done so far. So here in my Transmac, you can see that I have here some applications already. We're going to open the zipped Chakrain files and then copy it into our desktop. So there you go, we have it on our desktop. By the way, this package actually comes with a Mina USB tool as well. And we are also going to copy that in the applications folder. And now I am copying the files. So to do that, hover your mouse on the right side of the Transmac window and then right click select copy here and then it will open the Windows Explorer and then you just have to select the file that we are looking for which is the 0.10.1.app folder there you go that's it we're just gonna select that and then hit OK and when it asks you for this just hit OK and then we're gonna do the same thing for the Mina USB app as well you won't need that to jailbreak, but you, we will just do it for this demonstration. And we're done copying the files. So we're done with step two, and now we're going to proceed over to step three, which is running Rain USB from our BIOS. So let's shut down the PC and do that. So our PC is just shut down and we're waiting for the boot menu and immediately when that pops up you have to press the F9 or the delete or the F8 button. Well it all depends on your bio settings and your motherboard. So you go check it out and search it. Once you're presented on the screen you have to select the boot device but before we do that we have to enter setup and configure our bio settings for Rain USB to run. So number one is we're going to go to our CPU settings and ensure that image virtualization is enabled. <clears throat> so there you can see that mine is already enabled. Number two is for the boot settings, you need to make sure that that's UEFI. Most of the times legacy will also work, but it's just in my case, I can have both UEFI and legacy. Um, lastly, you're going to need to make sure. So your secure boot, so you have to make sure that that's it disabled. So once you're ready, you just go ahead and save the changes. It's gonna shut off. And we're gonna do the same thing. Once it opens up, we have to press F9. There you go. So I'm pressing F9. So this time you're just gonna have to select UFI. And that should take us to the Clover configurator. There you go. So once you're presented with the screen, just select the one that says boot install Mac from Rain USB. So in my case, it's already there. This hit will actually take about a couple of minutes. I'm gonna do fast forward for this.
So now we're into the screen. So we've successfully booted Ring USB. Have to click next. <clears throat> click continue. And then click continue. So once you're in the screen, you're just gonna have to select utilities and the top options. Then click terminal. And then you're gonna type in CD forward slash applications forward slash 0.10.1.app forward slash contents and forward slash mac os all small letters hit enter and now we're gonna run check screen by typing dot forward check screen and there you go guys so we have check screen 10.1 one and now we're just gonna have to connect our device so let's do that now make sure you're using the USB cable that comes with the box or something that's really good because you're gonna have problems if you don't I'm gonna connect the device now and then we can see here options Normally, it would work fine even without configuring the options, but if you get some problems, I would try the verbose mode. Sometimes I would try this. Let's try it without any configuration and just hit start. So once you hit start, click next. It'll automatically go into recovery mode. So now we're going to prepare to enter into DFU. So now the device in recovery. So when you see this menu, you just have to prepare to enter DFU mode and in our previous tutorials you already know that you're gonna have to press the power button and the volume down button for the iPhone 7 and up and for the iPhone 6, 5S and 6S you're gonna use the home button and the volume down sorry home button and the power button so let's now start I'm ready to enter DFU I'm holding the power and the volume down and then now releasing the power button while holding the volume down. There you go, we successfully entered DFU. I'm just gonna have to release it and let it do its thing. And we're done. So now we've successfully jailbroken the device. So now let's head over to our Windows PC to perform the bypass. But before we go do that, let me show you guys an extra feature for this tool. So earlier we've copied the Mina USB file. So for you guys out there who have disabled or passed devices and you want to jailbreak but your device is not detected by check rain or your PC then you have to use the Mina USB patcher so right after this procedure guys you would have to use the Mina USB patcher and to do that you're gonna have to type in CD forward slash applications forward slash Mina USB dot app forward slash contents forward slash mac os the second command would be to type dot forward slash mina usb all small errors then hit enter and there you go guys we have the mina usb so immediately after doing the jailbreak, you're gonna have to perform this if you have a passcode lock or disabled life. Normally, this is done if you want to retrieve your cellular activation files if you have a factory unlocked device that's been activated already before the bypass, before the jailbreak. I have a full tutorial down in the description of this video. Go ahead and check that out if you want. So let's head over to our Windows to proceed with the bypass. Now we are back on our Windows PC. And let's summarize what we have done so far. 
So we've completed the first three steps, which is to mount the RAIN USB image on the flash disk, and then copy the check RAIN files into the TransMac. And third, we've successfully jailbroken the device using check RAIN through the RAIN USB application. So now we're going to bypass the device, which is the final step of this entire process. So we have two versions of this file or this FRP bypass tool. We have the version 2.3, which is designed for the 12.4.7 iOS and the 13.5. And we have the 2.2 version, which is for the old versions or the old iOS 12.4 up to 12.4.6 and also the 13 iOS versions 13.1 until the 13.4.5 In this tutorial, I have the iPhone 7 so I'm gonna use the old one but I'm gonna provide both links in the description below and now let's start we'll open the file click on the executable file and this is it so we have here the UDID and the iOS version and then a click start button over here i have my iphone as you can see which is still under the activation set note that we haven't reset the phone after the jailbreak that is important because the jailbreak is tethered which means it will be gone if you are restarting the phone or goes power off and we don't want that here so now let's click the start bypass and let the tool do its thing this is going to take a couple of seconds it says in start, it's starting the bypass process. And let's give it a couple of seconds to finish. And there you go, it says bypass done. There you go guys, we've just bypassed the iPhone. So we've already successfully bypassed the device. And we can see here that it's under Yep, iOS 13.4.1. There you go. I'm also just going to quickly show you the iOS 12.4.7 and 13.5 bypass tool. So you can see it's version 12.3 FRP file. Go ahead and download this if this is your iOS version. So that's it everybody. Thank you for watching and I hope you learned something from this tutorial. Take care and see you on the next video.